Imagine a warm summer night, where the air is calm and the sky is a vast dark blanket. Suddenly, small points of light begin to blink, like stars that have descended to Earth. These dancing and shining points are fireflies. But have you ever stopped to wonder why they glow? How do they manage to produce such fascinating light? Today, we will explore the world of these tiny luminous insects, reveal surprising secrets, and understand how the light of fireflies may be at risk of disappearing forever. Fireflies belong to the Lampyridae family. There are over 2,000 species scattered across the globe. What makes them amazing is their ability to produce their own light in a process known as bioluminescence. But what is bioluminescence? It's a chemical reaction that takes place inside these insects' bodies. When oxygen comes into contact with substances called luciferin and luciferase, a reaction occurs that releases energy in the form of light. This light is cold, meaning it doesn't generate heat. Impressive, right? Now, you may be wondering, what is the purpose of this light? The answer is surprising. The main function of the firefly's glow is communication, especially to attract mates during mating season. Each species of firefly has a unique flashing pattern. The males fly through the air, emitting light signals in specific sequences. The females, hidden in the vegetation, respond with a subtle glow if they like what they see. It's like a secret language of lights, a true show of seduction in the darkness. But fireflies don't only glow to find love. They also use their light as a defense system. Many predators avoid eating fireflies because they contain toxic and bitter substances. The glow acts as a warning. I'm poisonous. Better leave me alone. This mechanism is known as aposematism, a type of visual warning common in nature. Interesting, right? But there's more. Some firefly larvae also glow. They live in damp and dark places, like soil and rotting logs. These tiny lights help the larvae attract prey, such as snails and earthworms. When the prey approaches, the larva releases a paralyzing substance and enjoys the feast. In other words, even in their larval stage, fireflies are cunning predators. The intensity and color of the light vary between species. Some emit green light, others yellow, and a few emit reddish light. This diversity is the result of millions of years of evolution, adapting to different environments and climatic conditions. Now, let's talk about a serious issue. Fireflies are disappearing. In recent years, scientists have noticed a significant decline in the population of these insects. But why is this happening? Three main factors are driving fireflies to the brink of extinction, habitat loss, light pollution, and excessive pesticide use. Rampant urbanization destroys the damp areas where fireflies live and reproduce. Light pollution, caused by artificial lights, interferes with fireflies' communication. They become confused and can't find mates. And pesticides used in agriculture kill fireflies and their larvae. But all is not lost. There are ways to help fireflies survive. Small actions, like reducing outdoor lighting at home, preserving green spaces, and avoiding the use of toxic pesticides, can make a big difference. Planting gardens with native plants also helps create a favorable environment for these glowing insects. Interestingly, the light of fireflies has also inspired science. Researchers are studying bioluminescence to create new technologies, such as biological sensors, efficient lighting, and even medical treatments. Imagine a future where we could illuminate cities without electricity, using light inspired by fireflies. Fireflies are true treasures of nature. They not only enchant our nights with their magical glow, but also play important roles in ecosystems. They are natural predators of pests, help maintain the balance of nature, and inspire technological innovations. 
Protecting fireflies is protecting a piece of the natural world that makes our lives brighter. The next time you see a firefly, stop for a moment and appreciate this wonder. Remember that behind that tiny point of light, there is a universe of secrets, challenges, and hopes. And who knows, maybe together we can ensure that future generations will also marvel at the spectacle of nights illuminated by fireflies. After all, protecting fireflies is a mission worth pursuing. Bioluminescence is one of nature's most fascinating abilities. Fireflies are insects from the beetle group, scientifically known as Lampyridae. What makes these tiny creatures so special is their ability to produce light through chemical reactions that happen inside their bodies. But how do they do it? Inside the abdomen of fireflies, there is a substance called luciferin. When luciferin comes into contact with the enzyme luciferase and oxygen, a chemical reaction is triggered this reaction releases energy in the form of light. And here's the curious detail. This light doesn't emit heat. This is called cold light, an incredibly efficient phenomenon that scientists are still trying to replicate in the lab. But did you know that not all fireflies glow the same way? There are over 2,000 different species worldwide, and each has unique flashing patterns. Some flash quickly, others slowly. Some glow constantly, while others blink on and off in complex patterns. This, light code, is essential for firefly survival. But why? These light patterns act as a communication system. During mating season, males flash their lights in specific patterns while flying. The females, who usually stay perched on leaves or grass, Watch these signals closely. If the male's light pattern pleases the female, she flashes back in response, indicating she is open to his approach. This is one of the oldest and most beautiful spectacles of evolution. However, there is a darker side to this story. Some females of predatory species have learned to imitate the light patterns of other species. When an unsuspecting male approaches, Thinking he has found a mate, he ends up becoming a snack. This behavior, known as ball seduction, shows how complex and ingenious the world of fireflies is. Another curiosity is that not all life stages of the firefly are luminous. When they are larvae, many of them also glow. Firefly larvae live in the damp soil and feed on small creatures, such as slugs and earthworms. Their glow serves as a warning to predators. I'm toxic! This makes many animals think twice before trying to eat them. In addition to their beauty and complexity, fireflies play an important role in ecosystems. Their larvae help control pests, and their presence is an indicator of a healthy environment. But unfortunately, they are disappearing at an alarming rate. Why is this happening? The answer lies in our own hands. Light pollution is one of the biggest threats to fireflies. The artificial light emitted by street lamps, homes, and cars interferes with fireflies' light signals, making it difficult for males and females to find each other. Unable to reproduce, the firefly population decreases drastically. Fireflies have always been a magical sight on dark nights, lighting up our backyards, fields, and forests with their bright, flickering lights. But have you ever wondered why they are disappearing? Why does it seem like we don't see fireflies as much as we used to? What is happening to these fascinating little creatures that have enchanted generations? Today, we're going to talk about fireflies, their incredible bioluminescence, and the reasons behind their decline. Stay with me until the end. 
because you'll discover a surprising fact about them that you probably haven't heard before. Fireflies, also known as lightning bugs, are part of the Lampyridae family, a group of beetles with the extraordinary ability to emit light. This light is not just beautiful, it's an essential means of communication between fireflies. Did you know that their light is used to attract mates? That's right! Each firefly species has its own flashing pattern, like a secret light code that only members of the same species can understand. When a male flashes his light, he's hoping that a female from the same species will flash back, starting a courtship process. What makes this light so special is a process called bioluminescence. Unlike the light we're familiar with, firefly light doesn't produce heat. It's a chemical reaction inside their bodies, where a substance called luciferin combines with oxygen, creating this cool light. This phenomenon is so efficient that nearly all the energy from the reaction is converted into light, something scientists are still trying to replicate in our technologies. Now, you might be wondering, if fireflies are so fascinating, why aren't we seeing them as much anymore? Well, there are several reasons, and they all point to the impact of human activities on the environment. The first and perhaps most significant reason is habitat loss. Fireflies, like many other insects, depend on specific environments to survive. They prefer moist areas, like fields with low vegetation and the edges of rivers and lakes. But these places are disappearing. With urban expansion, the construction of roads, buildings, and developments, many of the fireflies' natural habitats are being destroyed. Without these environments, they simply can't reproduce or feed. Another major reason is light pollution. Remember how we said fireflies use their light to communicate and find mates? With the increase in artificial lighting in cities, towns, and even rural areas, that communication is being disrupted. Fireflies become disoriented with so much light around, and females may not notice the male's flashes, resulting in less mating and, consequently, fewer fireflies in the next generation. Imagine trying to have a conversation with someone in the middle of a fireworks show. It would be nearly impossible to hear the other person, right? That's what happens to fireflies in areas with too much light. In addition, chemical pollution also plays a major role in the decline of fireflies. The indiscriminate use of pesticides and other agricultural chemicals can directly affect these insects. Fireflies feed on small prey like snails and slugs, which are also affected by pesticides. If the firefly's food disappears or becomes contaminated, they can't survive. And like many insects, they are extremely sensitive to changes in their environment, making them vulnerable to any alteration in soil or water quality. Another worrying factor is the increase in climate change. Global warming is altering patterns of rain, droughts, and floods, and this directly affects the habitat of fireflies. As we mentioned, they prefer moist areas, and with more unpredictable weather, those habitats are rapidly changing. Prolonged droughts or sudden floods can devastate the areas where fireflies live and breed, making it even harder for them to survive. But despite all these challenges, fireflies still have a chance. 
efforts are being made around the world to preserve and restore their natural habitats. Prolonged droughts or sudden floods can devastate the areas where fireflies live and breed, making it even harder for them to survive. But despite all these challenges, fireflies still have a chance. Efforts are being made around the world to preserve and restore their natural habitats. In some countries, insect conservation programs are helping to replant natural areas and reduce light pollution, creating dark zones where fireflies can shine and communicate freely. And there's more, fireflies aren't just fascinating because of their light. They play an important role in the ecosystem. They help control pest populations by feeding on small invertebrates, like snails and slugs, which can damage crops. In addition, they are an indicator of environmental health. Where there are fireflies, there's usually a balanced, healthy ecosystem. So, their decline is not just an aesthetic or curious loss, but also a sign that something is wrong with the environment. And now, we've reached that surprise I promised at the beginning of the video. Did you know that not all fireflies glow? That's right! Some species of fireflies, especially those living in more tropical regions, don't produce light at all. These species communicate in other ways, often through chemical signals or vibrations. This is fascinating because it reminds us that the natural world is incredibly diverse and full of different survival strategies. So, the next time you're in a rural area or park, pay close attention. If there are still fireflies around, enjoy that magical moment. And remember, by reducing light pollution, protecting the environment, and supporting the preservation of natural habitats, we can help these little creatures continue lighting up our nights. Now that you know more about fireflies and the reasons behind their disappearance, how about sharing this video with your friends and family? Together, we can make a difference and ensure that future generations can also see these amazing insects lighting up the night sky.